Hi everyone, Armored Pants here, and I have another video for you in the Russian lines, the tier 10, the IS-4 heavy tank. And as always, we have a complete guide for you, starting with the tech spec, which we will have a look at on Blitzhanger.com. Now, this is a pretty good heavy tank. It's very solid, very well balanced. It has good gun, has good armor, good reload. It's pretty agile, good maneuverability. All round, good, solid heavy tank. Now, heavy tanks are not are usually about view range, so therefore I've got protective kit rather than the condensed milk. Um, give you more protection. Um, basically, stop you going on fire, which Russian tanks can be quite prone to. So I would go protective kit because it is a heavy tank after all, and not about the view range. Now, the 122 millimeter gun on this is pretty good. Has a 9.56 second reload. Has decent pen on the AP, as you can see. It's 258 millimeters of pen with AP, 340 millimeters with heat, the Pramo, and 68 millimeters with HE. And that 68 millimeters of HE is pretty good. It will go through all light tanks and the sides and back of most medium tanks and a lot of tank destroyers. So load up on some HE. Now the muzzle velocity is average, it's 940, but if you use supercharge, you'll get it up to one, two, two, two millimeters per second, which is not bad for a heavy tank. It's still, average slightly above average but definitely you need to use supercharge because otherwise you're going to have very low muscle velocity in terms of speed it's 43 kilometers per hour in a straight line going forward 14 in reverse is not great but 43 kilometers going forward is pretty good but do note it has a poor power to weight ratio so what does that mean well it means it's slow from a standstill uh, so once it gets going it's pretty quick but it does uh, it's sluggish from from stop start so just be aware of that if you're trying to get out of somewhere quickly um but this tank has a great armor profile and that's really what it's about because it is a heavy tank and you can side scrape in this tank i mean if you look well firstly the turret's very strong as you can see here just those numbers are just amazing but if you look here at the side of the tank when you have an acute angle on that you know, those relative armor numbers are pretty spectacular and you're going to bounce shells in this tank if you angle this tank up if you side scrape correctly if you wiggle and jiggle if you're front on you will get bounces you will get um steel wall medals in this in this tank now the game play we're going to look at it's not actually my gameplay it's actually one of my subscribers mike from new jersey shout out to him we're going to have a look at a phenomenal uh, piece of gameplay in the is4 really showing its strengths and really showing how good the armor is in this. and you're going to see some massive amount of bounces on this as well and really and um, you know this is what this tank is about you can reverse side scrape in it too your butt is vulnerable but if you can hide your butt you can reverse side scrape in it the turret is really strong have a look here at the gun elevation you can see is not bad gun depression is yeah you know but that's really not what you expect in a heavy tank and um, you know the five degree six degrees of gun depression it's not really so important um, now if you are front on only if you're front on this tank only the lower plate is vulnerable that's pretty much it and if you can hide that or if you can move it to create relative armor angles which are better than it when it's flat on you're going to get bounces and you're going to see that in the game we're going to look at historically historical reference this tank did exist and um, it was developed during the um, second world war and produced after the second world war and a few a couple of hundred of them were produced so actually it is a it was a main battle tank in the soviet in the red army um, so it's not a made up tank as some tanks are in Blitz, although really given the characteristics of tanks of Blitz they're all kind of made up, just that some of them have real names. Now, um, in terms of tactics with this tank, this tank is a pure heavy tank um, and should be played heavy tank tactics by the numbers. Move forward, seize those strategic positions. If you look, remember the heavy tank guide we have on channel, it shows really the role of a heavy tank and what you should be doing in a heavy tank. And this is quintessential heavy tank and what you and how you should play heavy tank tactics. This tank is perfect for that. So it's about moving forward, being the, f the tip of the spear, moving forward, being aggressive, going into aggressive positions and seizing strategic positions for your team, being a fulcrum around which your team can then anchor and pivot and um, expand the overall team tactics. As always, we're gonna check the setup here and Mike decides he's gonna to go to C, which is pretty much on this map, the heavy tank corridor and what you would expect. He's gonna use the speed of this tank. Um, I mean, it's not as fast as an IS-7, but it is faster than the German heavies at tier 10, significantly faster than a mouse or an E-100. 
So what does that mean? Well, that means if you're pushing towards a strategic target like this, you're going to get there quicker. Um, and therefore, it gives you an advantage in trying to seize uh, the more tactical ground. Now, you can see here that he's pushing forward. And I'm going to come in contact with the enemy any moment now. And we are going to see the strength of this tank in action. Because this tank is really good at getting right up into the face of the enemy. We're going to see here now the gun handling is pretty decent. I'm going to slow it down here. Watch that really nice shot. Nice alpha roll on it too. And you can see that this is really the strength of this tank. Going into those strategic uh, positions at the start of the game. Seizing those positions. You know, absorbing enemy fire and getting bounces like this. Look at this. One bounce, two bounces. That's how good this tank is. It's a forgiving tank. It allows you to um, move forward and be aggressive. Safe in the knowledge that if you do have some shots fired at you and you're playing this tank correctly, using its armor profile, angling and side scraping when you can, you will get bounces. And you know, bouncing shots and um, not taking damage um, is as important as inflicting damage. Now we see here he's uh, up against another IS-4 and this is actually a great, great um, piece of gameplay to look at because you're up against exactly the same tank. And you can see that Mike and our, on the green team is shielding uh, his lower plate. The other IS-4 is coming out side on and he's giving Mike shots. Mike is moving back and forward, he's angling, he's wiggling, he's jiggling, and he is not giving this guy as much of a shot as the guy is giving him. Therefore, he puts in another one. Now, he was front on there, so he took one in the lower plate. But he's put in three shots into this guy for one he's taken, which is a fairly good um, hit point trade. It bounces another one there. You can see him just moving back and forwards. When you've got an armor profile like this tank has, just moving back and forwards can often be the difference between penning and not penning. Now this is a beautiful piece of play. Look at this. He uses the side of his tank to stop the other IS-4 getting around behind him, and it blocks the other red getting a shot onto him. Really great, clever piece of play there. Um, using the enemy tank against, it, against its teammate, also stopping the other IS-4 getting around behind him to get an easy shot. I'm going to slow it down here so you can see the gun in action. This is the increased muzzle velocity there. Bam! Pens that E100 uh, turret pretty easily. Now we're going to see a brawl one-on-one -on -one against the E100. And the E100 is one of the more formidable tanks, one of the more formidable heavies in tier 10. But the IS-4 is more than able to hold its own against it. You saw there Pend him, angle, moving, angle again, gets a bounce from that big, big 150mm gun on the E100. He's not giving this guy any easy shots. He is just making it very difficult for this guy to pen him. Another bounce. And you can see just how good the armor profile is in this tank. And Mike is maximizing his ability to bounce shots by um, moving constantly. You can see his gameplay here. He has not at any point in this game stopped moving even for a moment. And when you have a tank with a really good strong armor profile that really is the secret to getting bounces. Just constantly move. It doesn't mean you're definitely going to um, you see how good the gun is there. That was a really nice snapshot. That doesn't mean you're always going to bounce, but it certainly gives you a much better chance of bouncing than if you just sit still and wait. This um, gameplay that we're looking at here is a perfect example of how to play the IS-4. It's a perfect example of playing to the strengths of this tank. Going out, being aggressive right from the start, pushing up, using that strong armor profile, bouncing shots from the enemy, doing damage, being a fulcrum, being a focal point for your team that you can build upon, that you can build your strategy on, and that you can then um, uh, generate a, a significant victory. And this is great gameplay. This 8K of net damage in that game, which is just wow. A mastery game delivered and a steel wall medal delivered too. Now. Let's have a quick recap on this very good heavy tank. It is a very good heavy tank. It's typical of a John. 
and therefore you should watch the heavy tank guide again if you need some um, a reminding of how a heavy tank should be played and basically you should play this according to the numbers of heavy tank play as excellent armor can side scrape both front and back if you can hide the butt on the back and hide the lower front plate the 102 20 mm gun is very good it has good pen numbers even on its normal ap rounds just over 9.5 second reload which is better than many of its peers you saw there against the e100 he's able to outfire him and it's a well balanced tank it's solid at everything not spectacular at any one thing but just really solid all around very forgiving you need to angle this tank because you uh, because you will get bounces as you saw in that game you can get a fantastic number of bounces and you play this tank as a frontline heavy and again remind you to watch the guidance channel if you need some reminding about that use supercharger and refined gun because you will often in a heavy tank fire from distance particularly later on in the game and this uh, additional muzzle velocity really helps and this tank is forgiving you know use it as a hammer go forward and play for your team move angle max those relative armor numbers out as mike was doing in that game and you will get bounces as he did as you said an 8k net damage game is something pretty spectacular and um, the music was pasher bell canon and d hope you enjoyed it and um, one of my favorite pieces of music made famous in a great movie starring denim elliot um, and gabriel Byrne called in defense of the realm so cheers mush i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and i guess all that remains for me to say is Pants off.